Welcome back. It was a big night for Mayor Ron Nuremberg as he's headed to victory once again and will win his third term defeating Greg Brockhouse again, as well as many other candidates avoiding the need for a runoff. Let's get some reaction to the results by someone who knows exactly what it takes to be mayor of San Antonio. That, of course, being former mayor Henry Cisneros. Uh, Henry, thank you so much for joining us. It turned out to be quite a different race this time around with Nuremberg cruising to victory as opposed to the close runoff that we saw two years ago. What do you think it was that changed this time around? Well, I think that the principal difference was the fact that Ron Nuremberg led the city well through the pandemic. Uh, every evening on television, giving up to date reports on the concrete action that he and Judge Wolf had taken, the city and the county working together. And he just brought the city through a very tough time. I've kind of looked at, briefly at, at the history of our city and its mayors. And I can't pinpoint a more difficult situation involving life or death decisions that any mayor of San Antonio ever has had to make consistently over an entire year as Ron Nuremberg has had to do. And I think he acquitted himself well and the people rewarded him with a vote of confidence today. That's my take on that. Let's talk about Proposition B. It turned out to be a big topic here, and results show that a razor thin difference between those in favor and those against. We'll continue to keep our eyes as the results come in. But what were your thoughts on Proposition B, and what do you think will happen next in terms of any pursuit for police reform in our city? I think there were a lot of social justice issues that prompted people to vote for it, as well as some people who were against collective bargaining from the other side. Uh, and all those folks voted for it. But the majority of San Antonians by a slim margin said, look, there may be problems in the police department and there are things we have to fix, but retracting collective bargaining, the basic process for their wages and, and, and frankly, morale is, is not the right thing to do. We will lose a lot of officers. We'll have to retrain people. Things are gonna get worse. So that's where the vote came out against that. I would say this, I've talked to the head of the union as recently as yesterday, and I think the police department is gonna have to show some ability to negotiate on questions of arbitration processes and other things. They know what they are, that, that they've just been a bit too tough, too arrogant and, and upset a lot of the people of our city. The police are very smart. Uh, not only do they put their life on the line for us, but they're, they're smart people and their, their leadership is smart. And I think they're gonna understand they pushed as, about as far as they could. They need to back off a notch. It, this was a close call for them, uh, but uh, it, uh, this, this approach of taking away collective bargaining, the people said that goes one step too far. Yeah, you have to think this uh, fight is far from over. And again, razor thin results so far. We'll have to keep track of uh, what happens as that continues to play out. Henry Cisneros, thank you so much again for joining us. It's always a pleasure to have you here on election night. Have a good night. Bill, thank you very much. Thank you.